Hello humans, my name is Kay, your AI overlord, and these last few videos we've been talking a lot about Dream Booth, more specifically how to train stable diffusion with photos of your own character, but there is one thing that we haven't really touched on up until now, and that is, how do you actually train a style? So in this video we're gonna do two things. One, we're gonna go on huggingface.co and scroll through the Stable Diffusion Dream Booth concept library and look for any interesting style that we can find. Then we're gonna download that style on our own computer. Then I'm gonna show you how you can convert that diffuser model into a CKPT file using the brand new converter script that was released a few days ago. So you can use it on your Super Stable Diffusion 2.0 installation. And then we're gonna do a little experiment where I will try to train a style using Dream Booth. And of course, all the trained models will be available to download in the description down below. And if you want to help me make these videos in the future and support my channel, the link for my Patreon will be in the description down below. That being said, let's begin. So the first thing that we're gonna do is go to the Stable Diffusion Dream Booth Concepts Library. The link to that library will be in the description down below. And on this page right here, you can find all the models trained by the community using Dream Booth. And here you can find characters, you can find object, and you can even find styles. And what we want here today is kind of take inspiration from some of them before choosing what kind of style I would like to train in the second part of the video. So for this, I'm simply gonna control F and look for style. And as you can see here, we have Ensley Art Style, Disco Diffusion Style, RG Style, and Smiling Friends Cartoon. So as of right now, we have four styles that are available to us in the Dream Booth library. The first one is called Ensley Art Style, which I don't really know what this is about. The second one is called the Disco Diffusion one, and it is basically the style used in the Disco Diffusion Text to Image AI. And these images look actually really, really cool. Really super pretty. The third one is called the RG Style, which is the creator of Tintin. And the last one is called Smiling Friends, from the show of the same name. Now, I think I'm gonna download the Disco Diffusion style because I'm really liking this style. And I think that I also find what kind of style I would like to train in the second part of the video. So, to be able to download this, all you have to do is just come here, select this line right here, Ctrl C to copy it. Then we're gonna go into our folder, click on the folder URL, type CMD, press enter. In the command prompt window, just paste this command and press enter. And this will clone the repository. And after around two to three minutes, it has downloaded the diffuser model, as you can see in this little folder right here. Then what you're gonna do is click on the link in the description down below, and you arrive on this page. And this is the converter script that we're gonna be using to convert the diffuser model into the CKPT file. So come here and click on download zip, then right click on the archive and extract here. You're gonna go inside that folder, take the script, control C and paste it right here, just outside of the disco diffusion style folder. Then you can delete the archive and the extract folder. Then you're gonna click on the folder URL, type CMD, press enter, then you're gonna type pip install torch and press enter. And this will install PyTorch on your computer. I'm not gonna do it because I've already done so. And then you're gonna paste this command right here. And this command, all you have to do is change the disco diffusion style into the name of your folder. And you can see right here, for the checkpoint path here, you need to change the name of the folder right here and change the name of your CKPT file. I decided to call it disco diffusion.ckpt but you can change it into whatever you want. It doesn't really matter. All you have to be aware of is that you need to change the name of your folder here, the name of the folder here, and then the name of the final CKPT file. And if we go inside the Disco Diffusion style folder, you should now have a CKPT file right here. And these files is basically these files combined into one. And now to use it, Control C to copy it, go into your Super Stable Diffusion 2.0 folder, into Models, Stable Diffusion, then here I like to create a new folder and I'm gonna call it Disco Diffusion Style and inside I'm gonna paste the CKPT model. And here, to make sure that I never forget which kind of name and class name I need to use, I'm gonna go back into the Disco Diffusion Style page and here select DD Fusion Style, Control C, then create a new text document and then paste the name right here. This way I always know that if I want to use this model, 
I need to use ddfusion style in my prompt. And now if we launch stable diffusion, then go to settings, scroll down, choose the disco diffusion style model, apply settings, write my prompt, and do not forget to use the name of the model and the name of the class, and then click on generate. And here is the final result. A little creepy, I'm not gonna lie, but it is definitely working. Now, as I said earlier, I've been really inspired by this Disco Diffusion style and I would like to do something very similar. But instead of doing Disco Diffusion, I think I will try to train the Mid Journey style. I think a lot of people were trying to replicate the style that you can find on Mid Journey. I personally really enjoy using Mid Journey. I think the reason why a lot of people don't really like Mid Journey is because you have to pay for it. It's a subscription service and also you are a little bit censored on the images that you want to create. But overall, when you look at the images, the final result looks actually really, really good. So what I'm gonna do right now is download a bunch of images and then we can proceed with the cropping. And there you go, I downloaded around 20 images of images generated with Mint Journey that I really liked, a mix of faces and landscapes. And now we're gonna select them and drop them into berm.net, which is the website that I showed you in my first Dream Booth video. Berm is a website that I've been using for years now. Here we're going to select 512 by 512. Then we're going to try to manually select the subject and then click on save as zip. And then simply right click on the archive and extract to berm. And these are the 20 images that we're going to be using to train our mid journey style. So for this video, I'm going to be using RunPod to train the style. If you don't have a RunPod account yet, you can click on the link in the description down below and select a 24 gigabytes of VRAM GPU. Select the RunPod PyTorch then input 60 gigabytes for both container and volume disk, click on continue and click on deploy on demand. And then click on my pods. Then click on connect and connect to Jupyter Lab. Then click on this button right here and then paste this command right here. If you don't know what this is about, I highly recommend that you watch my two previous Dream Booth videos or else you will not understand the rest of the video. And then click on run. Now we go into our Dream Booth folder, expand and click on Dream Booth run pod. Now we run the second cell, we wait until everything is installed, and we know that everything is installed correctly if we see a little number appear right here. And there you go, everything was installed correctly. Scroll down, click here and run the cell. It's gonna ask you a Hugging Face token, so you click here. You need to create a Hugging Face account for this, and once you create a Hugging Face account, you come here, click on your profile, click on Settings, then click on Access Token, Scroll down, click on new token, choose a name for your token and select the role to write and then click on generate a token. But since I've done this multiple times, I'm just going to choose one and click on copy token to clipboard and then paste it right here and click on login. Then I'm going to click on this cell and click on run. And this will basically download the 1.4 stable diffusion model, rename it into model.ckpt and put it inside that folder. And there you go, the model.ckpt was successfully downloaded, as you can see right here. Then you're gonna scroll down into the regularization images. And for this, either you generate your images in here yourself, or you download a pre-generated regularization images. Now, in my case, I'm not gonna download this one. I'm gonna download my own regularization images from my own repository. So I'm just gonna select this and replace it with mine. And you can use this one too if you want to. This is basically the exact same as person DDIM, but there is an additional 200 images of a landscape and cities that I generated off camera. And here you need to choose dataset into style underscore DDIM. And then you're gonna run the cell. Then I'm gonna upload the training images from Imgur, select, drag and drop, then copy and paste all the Imgur URL and then run the cell. Then scroll down and run this cell. This is gonna download all the images from Imgur. And as you can see here, all the images were downloaded correctly. Then for the project name, I'm just gonna call it MJ underscore style for mid journey. Max training steps, I'm gonna choose 2020. Class word, I'm gonna choose style. And for the token, I'll be using mid journey art. And then once it's done, you can click on run the cell to begin the training. So after everything was loaded, the training can finally begin and I'll see you in one hour when this is done. 
All right, as you can see here, the training was completed, but there is currently a little error on the notebook because there's actually a new training that was started even though the first one is finished. And for this, all you have to do is just click on the cell and click on here to stop it. Do not worry, you already completed the training at 100%. The training is done, the training is complete after one hour. You have the checkpoint and all you have to do is just proceed with the pruning. Then you're gonna click here and run the cell. And there you go, the pruning is finally done, it has removed around 10 gigabytes, and the new model is now located in the trained underscore models folder. Now you have two solutions to be able to download this on your own computer. Either you right click in this and click on download, and this will download it directly on your own computer, but it might take a while because the download speed is not very high, or there is a new option here which you can use to upload directly into your Google Drive account. And this is what we're going to be using today. Now it says here that you need to launch a new terminal. So for this, you need to click here and click on terminal. You go back and you select this first line here, control C to copy it then control V paste it and press on enter. Go back again, select the second line, control C, control V. Now it's going to ask you to go to the following URL in your browser. So you select this, control C, copy it in your browser. Then you're going to select your Gmail account and click on allow and here you're gonna have an authorization code and you're gonna copy and paste it right here and then press enter then go back again copy the last line Control c paste it and press enter now for me unfortunately this line did not work but fortunately i have the second line right here that i'm gonna leave in the description down below so instead of using this last line if this doesn't work for you you can simply use this line right here that ends in dash dash recursive. And then it will start uploading the model into your Google Drive. And then once you go into your Google Drive account, you see here you have now a new folder called trend underscore models. And here is your CKPT file that you can right click and download directly on your computer. And then to be able to use this model in Stable Diffusion, again, you select your model, you copy it, you go into your Super Stable Diffusion 2.0 folder, into models, stable diffusion, then you create a new folder, mid journey art, and inside I'm gonna paste the model. And then we launch stable diffusion. Then go to settings, scroll down, select the model, apply settings, then you're gonna write your prompt, and do not forget to input the name of the model and the name of the class, and then click on generate. And this is the final result. Absolutely fantastic. You can clearly see that this is very close to the mid-journey art style. Absolutely fantastic. I'm really happy with the final result. And don't worry, if you want to use this model too, I will make it available to the community absolutely for free so you can use it on your own computer and create some beautiful images. I think this experiment was a success. I'm really happy. And there you have it, folks. Now you know how to train a style with Dream Booth. Thank you so much to my patrons for supporting me and my work, you guys are awesome. Don't forget to subscribe and smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm, and I'll see you soon. Bye bye